All right, then. Uh, at this time, we will call the meeting for the Sacramento Metropolitan Fire District's Board of Directors meeting for uh, February 11th, 2021. <laughs> Will you please call the roll, Madam Chair, or Madam? Yes, no problem. <laughs> clerk, Madam Clerk. Madam Clerk, Dr thank you. Director Gould. Present. Orzali. Here. Wood. Here. Sheets. Here. Jones. Present and here. White. Here. Clark. Here. Sailors. Here. And President Kelly, turning it back over to you. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, would everybody like to stand and pledge the flag? And repeat after Mr. Clark, please. All right. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America. States of America. And to the, the Republic, Republic of, for, which, for which it stands, one nation, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for, all. for all. All right, then. Uh, the Metro Cable announcement. Uh, the open session meeting is videotaped for Cablecast on Metro Cable 14, replay on Monday, February 15th at 6 p.m. and Wednesday, February 17th at 2 p.m. on Channel 14, webcast at www.sacmetrocable.tv. Uh, public opportunity to discuss matters of interest, of public interest within district jurisdiction, including items on or not on the agenda. Are there any speakers? We did not have any speakers contact me beforehand. However, Art, if you could unmute all callers and give everyone a chance to speak if they so wish. Yes, uh, attendees, you now have the ability to unmute yourselves if there's anything you would like to present at this time. Uh, no response. Hearing none, we will proceed. Uh, consent items. Mr. Okay. Chair, I move approval of consent items. Second. Okay. We have a motion and a second on the consent items. Uh, any questions? Seeing no questions, uh, Madam Clerk, will you please call the roll? Yes. Director Gould. Aye. Orzali. Aye. Wood. Aye. Sheets. Aye. Jones. Aye. White. Aye. Clark. Aye. Sailors. Aye. And Kelly. Okay. Uh, at this at this time, I believe that uh, we want to take care of closed session uh, as our uh, as our agenda is brief tonight. We will do that and uh, make sure that uh, uh, the uh, the council is able to uh, be uh, freed up. And President Kelly, if I could just interrupt for just a moment, please do. I'm sorry, um, but I uh, have a closed session running on my other computer and I do not see that Mr. Connor has joined us there quite yet. Okay. So I think we could maybe carry on with the meeting and uh, I'll keep you posted when he does in okay. fact join. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then we will start with the reports. Um, this has been a lightning fast meeting this far. <laughs> Uh, we are into reports at 6.04. All right. Uh, President's report. I uh, have nothing to report. Uh, Chief Fire Chief's report, Chief Harms. Good evening, uh, President Kelly and directors. Um, as you said, quick meeting tonight. Reassignments for the district. Captain Ch uh, Scott Shields has been selected to fill the spot at EMS. That's a day captain assignment and started on the 2nd. Uh, for me, this past two weeks, uh, assisted on the on the second, we assisted the Consumers Fire District with a deputy chief's interview and went down there and helped with that. Uh, on the third, uh, myself, 
uh, Deputy Chief uh, Tyler Wagaman, along with about seven other members of the district and uh, Director White attended Deputy Gibson's funeral for the SAC Sheriff officer. Uh, we had on the 4th, the California Metro Chiefs monthly meeting in which uh, we host and I facilitated. On Saturday the 6th, there was a celebration of life for Don Olson. Don was 45 years old and had been a member of our CERT program since the very beginning of it. Um, myself and Shani Cornell spoke at that event and we just had a great turnout from a great our members and members from the, um, the CERT that was there. Um, we did a lot of work this week on mid-year budget, mid-year budget review. We'll have that, I believe, at the next meeting. Amanda will be presenting that to the group. Um, worked with our local legislators at the state level, uh, supporting fire service leg legislation as we move forward, along with some new EMS legislation that uh, is being moved forward. Uh, the last thing is just thank you to all of you on Saturday uh, for fill the boat, for fill the boot. Over the weekend, um, they raised over $175,000, which is just incredible. Uh, I was able to raise about $7,000, which put me into the first place for the Chiefs Challenge. So, again, thank all of you for assisting with that. And uh, Chief White, thank you for being out there and competing also. I believe you came in in third place on that one there. But thank you for being out there. And that ends my report, unless you have any questions. Are there any questions of our chief? Uh, no, this is uh, commissioner. This is gay. Hey, yeah, um, might have come in third, but both of you are first in our hearts, and uh, thank you both for participating. Number we'll one in our hearts and minds. Actually, chief Mitchell with the operations report now. Thank you. All right. Good evening, President Kelly, Board, Chief Harms, Adam Mitchell, Deputy Chief of Operations, with a few items for you tonight from Operations Report. First off, uh, just cover some training items. Uh, we just finished up our first of two offerings for river and flood operations. One day a classroom, two days in the water out at William Pond. Um, good water levels this time of year allow us to do that and get more of our members trained for that target hazard. Um, when we do the water rescues on our on our rivers. Second, uh, we have our annual required ARF training that's gonna start at the end of this month. Um, we're offering that course uh, free of charge. Um, with our partnership through the Industrial Emergency Council, we store their prop. And so we're able to get that uh, content delivered to our members uh, in return free from their instructors. So that'll be happening in the last week of February. So another good item there. Uh, COVID status, some really promising news. We actually had a few days in this last week where we had no members whatsoever off duty, either positive or awaiting results. This is really, really a good sign. First time that's happened. Um, and so we right. are currently, we have one member off um, recovering from a positive result, um, but that is much, much better than what we had back when we were you know, above 90. So um, good news there. Um, total positives since the beginning of the pandemic were, were at 111. And then finally on the COVID front, the vaccination pod, we're still continuing to provide the second doses to those members who received that first dose there at Logistics. Um, that'll be ongoing through the first part of March. We'll be able to support that through our distribution supply channels through uh, County Health. And Cal Expo continues to be available for all um, for the vaccinations. So good news there as well. And then finally tonight for statistics, um, since our last meeting, we've had 3,483 dispatches and 1,926 transport, transports. Um, and then total calls for service, uh, 3,652. And then uh, building fires, we've had 12 since our last uh, board meeting and five of those were in our, our district. Um, and then finally, uh, some trivia here that's different than what we normally would report. Our busiest company, which is not the same as we've been reporting and same with both the engine and the medic. Our busiest company is engine 41 this time with 162 responses and our busiest medic company, medic 224 at 170. So a little bit of a change there, but uh, I thought that was interesting since it's not engine and medic 53. So that's the end of my report for operations, unless there's any questions.
I think you're on mute, Director Kelly. Any questions of Chief Mitchell's report? Seeing none, okay. Then uh, at this time, uh, if there's any questions for the chief, no? Thank you for your report, Chief Mitchell. All right then. Uh, at this time, if everybody is okay with it, we'll move to closed session. I understand there are some technical things to deal with. Uh, hopefully everybody will get there soon. Uh, at this time, I will close the regularly called meeting as we go to uh, closed session. Okay, so we're complete. Uh, Firefighters Local 522 report. Uh, is uh, a representative from 522 available? Yes, I am. Good evening, All right. President Kelly and Board of Directors. Uh, my Mr. McGoldrick, hello. Well, it's a brief tonight. There's not a whole lot to discuss, but um, I just wanted to extend my um, thanks to all those that have helped out with the Boone Drive last weekend. It was a tremendous success, as and also to the community that did gave so generously at those street corners. Um, I also wanted to say I had the chance today to stop by Station 61 and visit briefly with the crew and the firefighter that's in paramedic school. Um, I just wanted to thank you for uh, supporting that program. He's very uh, excited about it, along with the other two members, and uh, they're at week number four, and everything's progressing well. So thank you again for that opportunity. That's all I have. Thank you. Energized. Excellent. Uh, next. Good. All right. Moving on to uh, committee and delegate reports. Uh, nothing from the executive committee. Uh, Chief Wagaman, uh, the Communications Center, JPA. Yeah, good evening, uh, President Kelly, directors, Fire Chief Harms, uh, Tyler Wagaman, uh, Deputy Chief of Support Services, uh, speaking on behalf of the Comp Center JPA Board. Uh, the board last met, met on uh, February 9th uh, here at the Metro Chambers. And uh, during that meeting, we did get a unanimous approval uh, for an agreement between Local 150 and 856. Uh, to resolve an outstanding grievance uh, with their health care uh, pool fund. Um, stepping outside of the meeting just briefly, uh, one of the big projects uh, that the comm center has been trying to launch for years now uh, is the replacement of their UPS batteries. And the reason why it has taken so long uh, is because they, they literally had to uh, pull the power from the building uh, for a four-hour period of time. And we were finally able to do that and execute a plan that was very extensive uh, on February 4th at two o'clock in the morning. Uh, the operation took just over four hours. Um, I'm happy to report that we stood up the disaster recovery site for the first time. Uh, we were able to push 911 calls through that DR site. So I can say with confidence now that the site works its functions uh, like it's designed to do. Uh, and during that call, that, that time frame, we were able to process 114 calls. So the UPS battery replacement was a huge success. Uh, and it, obviously, any time that we have a large project like that, we were going to uh, learn from some areas that we can certainly improve upon and capitalize on the things that we did well. Uh, so uh, the comm center is in the process of putting together a comprehensive after action review. Um, and I would love to share that with you as soon as it becomes available. Uh, a couple other items, uh, just due to COVID, um, the launching of our EMD software, uh, which was initially scheduled in January, early January, uh, got delayed just due to an increased number of COVID positives. Uh, now that that has slowed and everyone's back to work, um, they have started the training once again, and the new projected go live is the first week in March. So very excited to see that new software uh, getting launched. It'll be a great addition uh, for the comm center. Uh, and lastly, our next academy, I'm sorry, their next academy is going to have seven recruits and they're going to be starting on March 8th. Our next board meeting is scheduled for March 9th. And that concludes my report. I'll be happy to answer any questions. Are there any or any questions of Chief Wagaman's report? Seeing none, hearing none. Chief Wagaman, thank you for your report. Thank, your report. thank you. Uh, moving on to uh, Chief Harms, the California Fire Rescue Training JPA. Uh, before we go on to that, I just want to compliment Tyler and all of the staff. Uh, when they did the shutdown, they were all here at 2 a.m. in the morning. 
Uh, this place was filled with people along with the dispatch center. They did just a great job of uh, planning it and then executing it. Uh, I got here early and everybody was uh, still had smiles on their face and did just a great job uh, at getting through that. As far as the rescue, the fire rescue training JPA, we have not met. Our next meeting is April 15th. No other report. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your report. Any questions of uh, Chief Harms report? All right. Uh, moving on to the Finance and Audit Committee, uh, Director Orizali. The uh, Finance and Audit Committee uh, is scheduled to meet again on the 25th of February, and there's no further report. Thank you very much, sir. Any questions of the Finance Committee's report? Thank you again for your report, Director Orizali. Moving on to the Policy Committee. Mr. Chair, the Policy Committee met this evening, elected new uh, leadership in that committee, and uh, we're a little troubled by that, but we'll let that move forward. And then we reviewed, uh, Ms. Maddox presented the family medical leave uh, materials and policy. There were slight changes, upgrades to current laws and regulations, and I would ask that it be agendized uh, in our next meeting's agenda, please, for a full review. All right. Thank you, sir. Any questions of the policy committee's report? No? Were you able to claw on to and hang on to that, that committee chair's position? Uh, despite my best efforts, um, it, it remained. Okay. Um, moving on to, uh, moving on to uh, board members' questions and comments. Uh, from my left, uh, Director uh, Gould. Mr. Chair, I just Director wanted to- Director Kelly, before uh, we move on, uh, this is uh, John Lavra. Uh, oh, we should I'm probably report, report out of the closed session. If you'd we... like to do so at this time, I would appreciate it. Uh, thank you again for keeping us on track. Okay, thank you. Uh, the board met in closed session uh, pursuant to government code section 59. Uh, 54956.9 to consider the workers' compensation claim in matter of Christopher Anaya and the uh, Sac Metro Fire District. The uh, board uh, voted to give uh, settlement authority to its third party administrator to effectuate a settlement of all of those claims. Thank you. Thank you for that report. Any questions on that issue, on that matter? No? Okay, moving on then. Uh, board member uh, comments and from my right, actually, Director Gould. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just wanted to again thank all of the leadership at Citrus Heights for allowing us to run the boot drive in their community to such a huge success, $175,000. What a huge opportunity given these times uh, where it's difficult. But thank you for everyone that put that together. And it was kind of fun to drive by and drive by several times and keep dropping in the, the donation. So uh, thank you very much for all of the wonderful men and women that volunteer their time to make that happen for those, the victims there at the Burn Institute. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Director Jones. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, nothing super duper to report, just a FYI for everybody. I, I did attend our uh, first LAFCO meeting, Sacramento County LAFCO meeting of the year. And we do have two new members, city council member Lolo E, as well as a new county supervisor, Desmond. Just informational purposes only. Otherwise, thanks everybody. Keep up the good work. Okay, Director Wood. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I would just echo the comments uh, from Director Gould and uh, wish everyone to stay safe and have a good weekend. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, from uh, the left, uh, Director White. Well, I'd like to start by congratulating Chief Harms on his fourth consecutive uh, Chief's Challenge victory. Three more and you'll be the GOAT. But um, I really do want to commend everyone in Metro Fire. You know, the commitment that you see out there from Metro Fire is um, outstanding. You know, they, you have a member up in the basket. Uh, the intersection was filled with Metro Fire members. Uh, doesn't give money, uh, the, other, the other departments much of a chance, but 
hey, I finished third, about $20 ahead of the city of Sacramento. And it's just nice to, you know, get by with a little help from my friends, all both of them that I brought. But uh, I would have to say it's really been impressive what not just what Chief Harms has done, but met, what Metro Fire has done to support the uh, Firefighter Burn Institute. Um, Chief Harms raised the bar a couple of years ago and more or less doubled the amount that someone would need to even contend for the Chief's Challenge. And for that, I'm, I'm very proud and appreciative of uh, the support that Chief Harms and Metro Fire continue to provide the Firefighter Burn Institute. So thank you. And then uh, lastly, I was hoping at the conclusion of the meeting that we could take a brief moment of silence for Bill Lopsitz. Bill Lopsitz was a captain with Metro Fire and a training officer, one of the finest training officers I ever had the pleasure and opportunity to work with. And he passed away on the 9th. And um, I'd just like to conclude today's meeting with a moment of silence for him. Thank you. All right. Uh, Director Sheets. Good evening. I don't have anything. Have a good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, Director Wood. I've said my piece. Thanks, Matt. Okay. Uh, Director uh, Clark. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, first of all, I'd like to uh, congratulate the chief on his uh, victory of, of the the uh, fill the boot contest um and also uh director white for his third place uh uh and i'm also uh, very glad that uh, we're making progress with the uh the members and the uh the cases the reduction in cases of uh of the uh, covid-19 i think that's that's really good I'm, I'm i'm real happy about that uh and the other thing is i'd like to thank the central labor council for their 500 dollars donation to the uh, burn institute uh I, it was it was a very good gesture on their part. They, they've always uh, the council has always donated, but uh, in this year and these times, uh, that was it, it was very good. That's all I have, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Director Sailors. I have nothing tonight, so um, everyone have a good night. Thank you. All right then. Uh, congratulations, Chief. Uh, congratulations, Chief White on your efforts. Uh, Chief, you need to set up Apple Pay. I could have sent you a hundred bucks, but when I tried to do it, I was I got the message that you don't have Apple Pay set up on your phone. <laughs> Anyhow. Mr. Uh, Chair, Mr. Chair? Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, in uh, addition to the remembrance uh, that uh, Walt uh, present, requested, uh, we should also please add our CERT member to uh, the remembrance time at the end of the meeting, please. I thought we tried to do that last time, but certainly he it's worthy to stand up for him again. All right then, uh, okay. I've got nothing I've got nothing further and we will stand uh, uh, for uh, Captain Lobs Lobs Lobsitz and uh, and our cert member. Stand a moment in silence. Thank you. I hope everybody has a safe uh, evening. Uh, enjoy, uh, well, four day weekend for some. Mr. And, President, uh, yes. Uh, I'd just like to interject here um, my congratulations to the Chief of Metro Fire and, and uh, to Walt White as well. But on a personal note, in the last meeting when uh, I was again trying to help. Uh, Arthur Hong become more proficient in technology. I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, I was not able to participate in the meeting, but I was able to watch. I want you to know how much I appreciated the support from the board in carrying that initiative for the uh, letter forward. Um, it was, um, it was something that was important that we do. And uh, we had a community member who had made a tremendous effort 
And in and there was a discussion about well, since I couldn't participate, should it be tabled? And and you guys did a fantastic job. I really appreciate it in saying let's move forward. And so thank you very much. You're certainly welcome. Thank you, Director Orzelli. Did I give you an opportunity to speak under comments? No, but nobody protested. <laughs> Take the hint next time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love everybody. Oh, we got to close everybody it up. A, everybody <laughs> have a safe weekend. And uh, this will be the uh, uh, adjournment of uh, Metro Fire's uh, board of directors meeting for, September, for February 11th. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, all. Good night. Good night.